Well, listen, thank you. First of all, good morning. Um, we're obviously very excited to be here today to announce some great news, not only for the city of yes, Akron and all of our partners, but for the communities. And we're recording a portion of this event due to the COVID-19 public gathering restrictions. We appreciate everyone's understanding and working with us during these challenging times. I know the walk down back and up is a little more harder in face masks, and it's a little bit more difficult now, but we appreciate everybody being able to follow those health guidelines. But just moments ago, the US EPA, thankfully, released the news that the city of Akron was awarded just over $1 million for the design of the Gordon, Gordon Dam removal project. The removal of the dam will reestablish the free flowing Cuyahoga River, resulting in significant water quality benefits. I might add 365 days a year. Akron has recognized this project as its highest priority quality project review project for the region. The grant pays 100% of the design cost. It is estimated to start sometime around August or September with the completion of design and permitting estimated sometime by July of 2020. This is not, this is, this is really huge news for us. I know in talking to Lisa and her entire career for Metro Parks has been talking about getting rid of the dam. I grew up in the area and I see the dam um, since I was very small and, and 45 years ago we were literally dumping raw sewage into the river. Now to be able to celebrate it 50 years later and taking down the dam. But improving our local waterways is something that's already been, Akron has already been doing for decades. Over the past 30 years, Akron and its ratepayers have up, made upgrades to the water reclamation, water reclamation facility to be eliminated, eliminated um, sanitary sewer overflows, implemented the industrial pretreatment program, and increased operation and maintenance activities, constructed numerous racks throughout the city of Akron and CSO, and implemented our consent decree. And due to these efforts, we've, been, we've made significant improvements in the biology of the river. And the Cuyahoga River has now been even designated the water trail by Ohio Department of Natural Resources in 2019. We pride ourselves in providing effective and efficient wastewater and stormwater services, all while finding ways to better protect the environment for this, and most importantly, future generations. Actually, it's really been a big year for us in the city of Akron. We've completed all of our connections to the Ohio Canal Interceptor Tunnel. Akron has now completed four under construction, about 92% of, of its consent decree projects. It will capture 85% of all of our combined sewer overflow. And it's no secret that this consent decree is fairly strict with a zero overflow mandate and a current total cost, current total cost of just about $1.1 billion. To continue to alleviate these high costs for our residents, we are constantly looking for ways to coordinate and partner with our federal and state EPAs to find cleaner and cheaper solutions, especially as technology continues to improve. Right now, we have two major projects left to complete. The north side tunnel, which would sit right behind me along the bank, and the enhanced high rate treatment facility. The EHRT is now projected to be less effective model, yet still very possible. Akron has successfully amended its consent decree twice before, and we are planning on submitting a third amendment later this year or early next year. And as part of that third amendment, Akron is going to be proposing our continued, purpose, our continued participation in the Gorge Dam Removal Project with in kind services, partners, and stakeholders for Akron. If we remove the EHRT from the consent decree and a project that only provides slight improvement in water quality with an astronomical cost of $65 million. Today, I want to thank all of our partners at the US EPA for helping us embark on this transformative project, one that is potentially life changing not only for us, but our, for our environment and for the ratepayers in the city of Akron. There are numerous partners on this project. I'd also like to say thanks to the Ohio EPA. Um, how Department of Natural Resources, First Energy, our federal representation in D.C., our local partners right here in Summit County Metro Parks, and the city of Chicago Falls. To me, and, and for me, it's an honor, um, and I'd like to bring up our special guest, who we know is an Ohio man from Buffalo County, the administrator for the United States Environmental Protection Agency, Mr. Andrew Weaver. Mr. Weaver. Thank you, Mayor. Mayor, I want to thank you for your leadership on this project. This would not we wouldn't be this, where we are today if it wasn't for you, your administration, your leadership in restoring the Cairo River. So today, I am announcing that we're giving the city of Akron just over $1 million to start the removal of the Gorge Dam here in the middle of the city. The removal of this dam will restore free flowing conditions of the one and a half miles of waterway. There's about 900,000 cubic yards of contaminated sediment behind the dam, which will be removed. This is the start of that project. Um, to, re to study the removal of the sediment and to get that going, which I understand will be early next year. It's a long-term project. We've already done a lot to restore this river. 
eliminating this dam will link the upper gorge to that which is below, and it will create two and a half miles of whitewater canoe and kayaking on the stream, one of the best urban waterways and whitewater in the world. All told, we have um, we put in about $6.9 million from Great Lakes Restoration Funds, an additional $1.6 million in non federal sponsors of being spent to return this river to health. Removing the dam was a first in a long line of steps that will transform the Kailoga from the polluted river that it was 50 years ago into the major environmental resource that is already becoming and will continue to become. I'm very proud of the work being done here. I'm very proud of this grant today. EPA was founded 50 years ago to celebrate the 50th anniversary this year. And one of the reasons for the EPA's great operation was the state of the Kailoga River. So I can't think of a better way. Celebrate the 50th anniversary of the EPA and to celebrate it and helping restore this beautiful waterway for recreation and to help come clean up Lake Erie and Broadway. This is an important milestone. Again, I want to thank the mayor for his leadership. I want to welcome to the podium and to remain Lisa King, the executive director of the Summit County. So many reasons, not the least of which is the beautiful Kyle River that flows through it. At Summit Metro Parks, it's our mission each and every day to protect our natural resources, connect people to nature. We have seen over the past few months, more than ever, how much people truly need that connection to human space. The river connects wildlife and people throughout North Eastern Ohio. It connects us to our past, and more importantly, it connects us to our future. Uh, so, many, so many exciting things are happening along the Kyle River right now. Um, as we speak, down the road from where we stand, construction equipment is hard at work in shaping the land to restore one mile, uh, a one mile section of this very important river that runs through Cascade Valley with the park. Removal of the dam is the next step in a vast, ongoing effort to bring the river back to life. Our Kirkland River is an incredible symbol of our region's uh, resilience and talent of partnerships. It's an example of what we can all achieve when we work together and move forward, forward um, for a better. Tomorrow. The process of removing the dam has required the commitment, expertise, and perseverance uh, of so many people on our state forestry. Achieving our goal of a free flowing river through the board will continue to require hard work, dedication, and collaboration. That's why we are so grateful to have this incredible team in place to turn what was once only a dream into reality. And with that, I say thank you to the many partners who continue to place a all of this effort. Um, that includes, of course, All right, thank you everyone. I apologize if the audio was difficult for anyone to hear. We are happy to send out a recording of that video separately in an email after the press conference so that people can rewatch. Um, but at this time, if there are any questions from any of our media guests, we'd be happy to take those at this time. Again, feel free to uh, type in the chat that you're interested in asking a question or just go ahead and type your question directly into the chat and we can have it answered. All right, well, while we're waiting for additional questions, I don't know if um, any of our speakers today have any comments they'd like to add um, or reiterate for those of us who are on the call right now. Um, Ms. Sure, King, I'll, Mayor Murray. I'll jump in there. Uh, first, I, I want to thank, um, the, the, obviously, the US EPA and all of our stakeholders. And I know we said this this morning. Um, it's, been a, it's been a project we've been looking forward to adding 
um, to a lot of the long list, I think, of, of environmental protection along the river. And, and like I said this morning, too, you know, Lisa's been a champion of this, and the Metro Parks have been a champion of this for, for a long, long time. And it's, you know, there's light at the end of the tunnel, so to speak, in seeing that this is getting done. So this grant will go a long way to, to giving us a feasibility of how we, how we eventually take down the dam in the ensuing 18 months or a couple of years. But really, uh, special mention to Pat Selman and Heather, who've done just a yeoman's work for years on this. So thank you very much. This has always been, like I said, at the top of, and, and we feel, you know, as you're, you know, as, as, as we've gone through this consent decree and tried to come up with, you know, better solutions over time, just because things change, you know, we feel with the modeling that we'll be able to get, you know, as, as good or better benefits, you know, by taking down the dam and doing some other things while still protecting the river and, and augmenting those recreational activities as we go through the city and along the Metro Park. So thank you to all the partners, you know, the city of Coggle Falls and Mayor Don Walters, uh, the state EPA, First Energy, uh, a lot of different people, of friends of the Crooked River, all of our stakeholders who've had a, a hand in uh, really lobbying these efforts to be able to get these funds there and then, then putting an action plan together. And, and that's going to be the fun part over the next, you know, like I said, year, 18 months to be able to put this plan together and finally get the dam down. So Lisa. I'm sorry, Ms. King. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Mayor. Um, I couldn't have said it any better than you did. Um, I'd like to highlight that we're really lucky to have the City of Engineer, a uh, City of Akron Engineering Department, um, really at the helm of this. They are doing um, the really heavy lift here and have been. So um, you know, we're get, we're the rest of the stakeholders are here to support, but they are um, doing an amazing job, and so we're. Uh, we're so happy that you uh, were able to get this grant. So congratulations. We look forward to working with you going forward. Thank you both so much. At this time, we do have some questions from the media. So the first question is from Dean Destro, who's with WAKR. Question is, who is actually performing the design? When does that work start? When does it end? And when does the sediment removal work begin? I don't know if... Uh, Mayor, you want to take that or if you want service? Yeah, I think, level to um, who's doing design? Actually, we're going to be looking at a, at a few proposals over the ensuing next couple of months. We should have a choice by the end of August, probably by September. Um, that I think the, um, the actual um, set of removal hopefully will start within 2021. Um, best guess is, and, and Heather can back me up on this, I'm thinking 12 to 18 months on, on set of removal, just depending on, you know, we've not taken a whole, we've not taken a whole lot of dams down. You know, in the city of Akron. So, um, but we'll get a good design and be able to do that. And we're hoping, um, as far as an outside timetable, to have that dam down by the end of 2022. But you know, there's some play with the time in there too. So, and Heather, if you want to add anything on the timetable, I, I could be a little, I might be a little um, uh, aggressive on the timetable, but um, uh, we'll go from there. I, I think we can uh, hopefully get it done pretty quickly. Right, Heather's nodding, so that must mean. But the answer was good. So the next question, and this is also from Jean, was how soon will the whole project be done? So this is the entire uh, dam removal project. I, I'm going to let Heather answer that one as far as that one. If you could unmute Heather, maybe she has a better time frame as, as one that may be all done and then you can start doing those things. Thank you, Mayor Horgan. Um, the goal is to have the entire project done at the end of 2024. So that would be sediment removal, dam removal, and then whatever restoration work that we're going to do on the river. I guess, Jean, to your other question, does this step guarantee funding for the removal of the dam, the associated sediment? This is the first step in the planning process to be able to do that. Um, and we're putting together as part of that third amendment that we're going to ask the court on the consent decree as part of that project is, is to help fund that. Um, but there's a lot of other stakeholders and partners, so we'll, I, I guarantee we'll be going back to our stakeholders and partners and putting together that plan of what the final cost is and, and figuring out those funding sources. Hey, are there any other of our um, media guests or our other stakeholders who'd like to ask a question at this time? Um, I know a couple people joined us late, so we are taking questions through the chat function, or you can uh, request to ask your question directly through the chat function and we can unmute you. So I'll give it just a minute to see if we have any other questions from our guests today. Okay, well, if not, we will be, um, oh, there comes one, another one from Jean. Um, she was asking uh, Heather, who last spoke, that's Heather Ollinger from our engineering department, um, your, your full title, Heather, if you could share that with us. Um, I'm a civil engineer. And Heather um, and was the lead 
writer of the grants and um, it's definitely one of our very valued key participants in this project. So thank you, Heather, for all of your work. All right, anyone else have any other questions at this time? Otherwise, we will be sharing a press release from the EPA with this announcement um, shortly, and then we will be sending out a full video of this entire Zoom um, press conference as well, um, in case anyone needs to have that recorded video. All right, well, at this time, I think we're ready to end. Thank you again for everyone's participation today. We appreciate the patience with the COVID-19 accommodations to the way that we share our media announcements and we look forward to a successful project here. Thanks everybody, stay safe. Thank you very much.